Today I'll tell you about Mataraiki, it's being celebrated in New Zealand on the 24th of June. It takes place from June till, the, till July. This is because Mataraiki is Māori New Year, it is the time of celebration. Traditionally, it was celebrated in a ceremony. It was honouring the dead and it, those who had passed on, well as last year's harvest. They are also sent their hopes and dreams into the stars. Today, Marawiki is celebrated in a similar way. Hangi, listening to Maori music, was spending time with Whanai. Marawiki is celebrated in the middle of winter. This has been a cluster of stars called Marawiki, invisible in the night sky of New Zealand. So who are the seven sisters? So what do they represent? Marawiki represents well-being and good luck. Waiiti connected to fresh water, aquatic creatures are living in it. Tupa Arangi connected to the food coming from the sky, like beds and food from the trees. Tupa Aluku connected to the food that drives on the ground at seasons of harvest. Waipura Arangi connected to the rain and river. Ura Arangi winds off the sky and shapes the land. Udakawa connects Mar- Marawiki to the dead. Some are twice believe someone dies, they travel along the Ara by river, which is the pathway to the spirits. Ending their journey, northern part of New Zealand, where there's a Perhutikara priest, they travel down its roots into the underworld. Here at Itiwangi is connected to promise to the future. Ata represents the salt water and the creatures are living it. Maui will send their dreams to the star. Interesting, and you'll learn something. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and hit, please hit the subscribe button. Wishing you a happy Marawiki, and see you next time.